Hello, welcome back to Cooking with the Davises. And when you get in here, I want you to hit subscribe to my channel for you can know, be notified when I come on and bring y'all something new. And once you subscribe, make that finger slide and hit the like, comment, and then share. And y'all come on inside and let's get started. And today, y'all, we're going to be trying to make a dish that is normally known as pepper steak. But instead of steak, I'm going to use pork chop. And I'm going to make a pepper pork chop over some jasmine rice and my mother's favorite dish some squash and so to make this meal my way the way my family eat we're going to start off by i done prepped some things like excuse me the peppers and onions and stuff i done already cut them up and ready for them to go inside because we put that in last but you're going to need some pretty squash that's the squash. Already washed, just need to be cut. You're gonna need some mushrooms. Already washed, just need to be cut. Uh oh, I ain't got time to be losing no mushroom. And we got some of these um green onions. It makes the dish look so pretty. And we're gonna use a half of a cabbage. It's gonna be a surprise element of what I'm adding to this dish. So, I got everything laid out and the seasoning that I'm going to be using for my salt today is going to be some adobo seasoning. Um, um, I may use it, I may not because I have my house seasoning. My house seasoning consists of no salt no salt it's all herbs and spices and everything's the nicest so when i use this don't get scared because it's no salt but it's gonna make that food pop <laughs> but anyway and i may or may not use some rice vinegar but if i use it i'll let you know and I got this new thing that I'm trying now called liquid aminos. It says it's an all-purpose seasoning. I tried on a few other things and I liked it. So I might, may or may not use it. But if I do, I will let you know. So what we're going to do for a minute, I'm not going to sit right here and make y'all watch me do everything. But I'm just going to start slicing up my... Um, my squash and everything on my board here that I have going on. And um, so everything can be ready to go in the pan or whatever I'm going to cook it in, how I'm going to cook it. It's going to be ready to go for when I get through. So y'all see how I'm cutting that squash in little circles. Okay, that's the squash. And for my mushrooms, I'm just going to slice them a few places. Not much, because I want my mushrooms to still have a bite to it. So, that's what I'm doing to the mushrooms. I'm slicing them up. And I'm going to do some more. And I'm going to let y'all see what that consistency looks like. I hope y'all can see that good. So, and with these spring onions, green onions, excuse me. Um, 
You cut the little tail end off of it. They still kind of damp, but that's just letting you know that I did wash them. But anyway, so I'm gonna cut them up like so. And that's what I'm going with there. Okay. I'm just letting y'all see what I'm doing. How I'm getting it going. And um, once I get it all done. Um, that was a hard one. <laughs> I just forgot to slice this one. For the squash, cause my mom, she likes onions with her squash. So I'm just gonna slice it. This onion the same way I did her um um the squash. So it all can cook pretty much the same way. So now I'm gonna finish this up. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how I'm going to finish preparing the pork chop. And the way that I'm going to cut it, when I come back, I'm going to show you that and the cabbage. And we're going to have some aroma coming when I come back. Be right back. Okay. I'm back. And I have my pork chop. And I also, I used a center cut pork chop, and um, I just sliced it up, cut it up into strip, and I decided to save two pieces to show you how I cut it up and what piece of the pork chop I'm using. It's the center cut, like that. And what I did was, I just took my kitchen shears and... I just cut it like so in strips. Just like that. For they all can be the same size. Well, just about the same size anyway. And that's what I did to all the pork chops that I used. Or a center cut pork chop. That's the piece without the bone. It's the center cut. And so they're all clean. And they're draining, um, cause I don't want them to be wet. I want them to be kind of dry. And um, well, this is my pan I'm gonna use. And so I'm gonna put this pan on the eye right now, and let it be heating up. And I'm gonna use a little bit of um oil to cook with today and I want to um show y'all this I don't know how to do it but we're gonna get down in there um the um yeah, hold on one second. Okay. I got the cabbage, the peppers, the green onions, the um regular onions, the squash, and the mushrooms. And this is my pan. And that's my pork chop. Like so, and we're from the start cooking. You may not be able to see my face, but as I grab my ingredients and get to cooking, y'all are gonna see. All these things come together. Excuse me. Mm. 
And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start cooking this pork chop. And I want them to get a little, um, a little bit of oil. <clears throat> and we're going to season this food as we cook it. Season it up. And the way that I add these vegetables and stuff in is going to be according to how they cook. And how fast they cook. So now we're going to just do the pork chop, season it, and we're not going to cook this in big batches, we're going to cook them in small batches because, alright, and also, I'm going to be using my Wood tin spoon. That's for that, and this is for this. Ooh. Yeah, be careful, Mike. It'll be a little wet. I mean, a little moist. So. And that would be my daughter coming in and making noise. <laughs> And she does not get no work. And right now, I'm going to add some, um, that house season that I was telling y'all about. Level up, level up. As each little bat gets to cooking and get down, I'm going to set it aside on a plate until I get done. But oh my goodness, y'all, and y'all can smell the food. It smells so good. Let me speak to my daughter. Hey baby. God, it smells like food. It smells clean. Like clean eats in here. Everything is homemade. Are those chives? Or um, spring onions? Um, oh, hi you guys. <laughs> Could you give me another plate, please? So I can take Oh, this. I can serve it. Thank you. And I'm going to show y'all I'm not cooking it to done done. You want another one, huh? A plate to put this on as I get done with it. Oh, you want a regular plate? Yeah. I'm not cooking it to done because I don't want it to dry out. I want it to all just come together. And I'm going to show you all what it looks like. Right quick. Yeah, put it in. Thank you. Mm. I like chicken, but I know it's not. Mm. You want Kirby? I know. And I'm going to show y'all what it looked like when I'm cooking each batch to look like. Because I'm cooking them in small batches because I don't want it to make any type of gravy. I want the oil to stay in the pan so it can get a fry on it. So, that's how we cooking this pepper pork chop today on Sunday. And y'all know what? I'm gonna shout this meal out to a lady named Miss Beverly. I seen her in Walmart yesterday. She knew me when I was a child growing up and very close to the family. 
and she was like, Hobie, I be seeing you on YouTube, and I just be licking my fingers. I said, well, you know, that's what I'm in here shopping for today. Something to, since we all got to be quarantined, I said, I might as well cook while I'm quarantined. And I told her, that's what I'm buying for today. And she was like, I can't wait to see it. So, Miss Beverly, this is for you and your family. So, y'all, I'll be back. I want to show y'all this for you. While it's ugly. Yum. Oh, y'all see them juices? It's going right back in the pot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's real cooking over here. Real cooking. So, I'll be right back when I finish frying off this meat and getting it right. It's going to be pepper pork over jasmine rice with some squash and I'm going to show y'all as I start adding stuff in. So I'll be right back to incorporate all this goodness to make a meal for me and my family or my family and I'll be right back. All right. I'm back and now I have added the cabbage and I've cooked the pork and I'm letting the cabbage cook down just a little. And I forgot to tell y'all, when you get ready to cook the squash, you're going to need some butter. Well, I cook mine in butter. The way my mom taught me. And I'm not going to cook this squat. I mean this cabbage to where it's soft. I don't want it soft. I still want the cabbage to have a crunch to it. So it's going to be a couple of stirs. And I hope y'all can see that good. That's the cabbage in there. And I'm going to add the meat back to it. As it cooks down just a little bit more. Because I don't want it to be soft. I want it to have a crunch. So the cabbage is in. I'm incorporating the meat back in there a little bit by little bit. And I'm, I'm going to add the mushrooms in a minute. I'm going to add the mushroom back in. I mean in. And the peppers last. Because I want them peppers to stay bright and lovely. So, at this time, I'm going to start in on my mother's squash. All this real cooking over here is real cooking over here. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> can't go nowhere. <clears throat> can't do nothing. So, like I told my mom, I might as well take this time to just do videos, make videos, and feed the family. And when I don't cook, <laughs> they can come here and cook themselves. So now y'all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the mushrooms in. They right here waiting on me. I'm adding the mushrooms. Turn it down a little bit. Mushroom. Season it a little bit more. 
Because you gotta remember that cabbage don't have any seasoning on it. So. That cook a little bit. Get my eye going in the back. Sometimes my oven just don't want to act right. But guess what? <laughs> I got a solution for that. This over here. Y'all better get in on this meal. If y'all had smell of vision. Mama, what does food smell like? <laughs> Gross man. Let me have it on. <clears throat> now, I'm going to take a little butter for my mother's is that too much one? I'm still learning how to cook squash, y'all. Don't leave me. <laughs> so what do I put in first, Ma? To do your... Let the, my butter melt and put my squash in there. Onions and just pepper. Okay. You can take this back, Ma. Y'all, so I don't care how grown you think you is, how well you think you can cook. If your mama's still breathing, you always need help. That's that. Well, you said what? I said that's my thing. No. What you say first? Push your squash. squash. Okay, I got it. Your onion. I already got it. I'm gonna have it. Oh, you can let the boil Mm-hmm. Let Okay. So, oh y'all, I got this cabbage and this pork. Oh my lord. Y'all better be careful on this meal. I'm gonna let y'all see it in a pair of seconds. I'm gonna add some more meat to it. Well, the rest of the meat to it. It's going in. I hope y'all got a good visual. And that's that pork. <clears throat> Add it to this pan. Okay. That's done. Stir this up. Look at that. I know y'all can see that. I know y'all see that. I know y'all see that. I just wish y'all could smell this. And I wish Corona wasn't in the air for you can come by and get some of this. <laughs> so far, I got the pork chop, center cut pork chop cooked. I got the cabbage in here. I got the mushrooms in here and 
I'm about ready to add the um, peppers and onions to it. And let this stuff get to know one another. Mm -mm. Boy, that cabbage cooked down to nothing. I think I need some more cabbage in here. I think I want some more cabbage. Okay, y'all, yeah. I'll be right back. What I'm going to add to this is I'm going to add the peppers. And we're going to watch this thing come together. I'll be right back. Okay. Y'all, yeah. I want y'all to get in on the Pepper pork chop. Pepper pork chop before I show y'all. It has center cut pork chop that I cut into strips. Cabbage, mushrooms, yellow pepper, green pepper, red pepper, onions. I'm going to tilt this pot up so y'all can see it and hope I don't drop it. Okay, we're going to try that again. Pepper pork chop. Mushrooms. Yellow pepper, green pepper, orange pepper, cabbage. Center cut pork chop. And they're ready for some rice. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to cover this up and let it just sit here for a minute until that rice get done. And when that rice get done, you serve this over the jasmine rice. And now, I got the squash going. I'm going to set this back. Fall back. Bow for it. My mom's squash. Cooking. And that nice butter with that house seasoning on it and a little bit of pepper what I'm going to do with this I'm just going to put the top over it and let it get a little soft but not mushy and let it cook now and let them flavors get to know one another and when I come back, y'all, I'm going to have y'all a meal on the plate ready to eat. And dinner will be served. I don't know if they want some bread to go with it, but they don't really need none. But you know how some people are. So, y'all, as I just cover everything up and let it just cook a little bit. Dinner will be served, and I'm on time. Mm -hmm. So y'all, when I come back, I'm going to show y'all a plate. I'm going to plate this up for y'all. And y'all, stay safe. Keep your hands clean and sanitized. Keep your area clean and sanitized. And try to stay in and be with your family and cook meals that they love to eat and that you love to cook. 
and just try to enjoy one another. Read your Bible. Share some Bible stories and understand what's really going on. So the Bible can tell you more than the news people can. So y'all, when I come back, I'm going to show y'all a finished product. A finished, it ain't no product. A finished meal. So, before I sign off on this one, I'm going to say it again. Y'all done see me cook it. Now hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that comment button. And then hit that share button. And then I'm going to share this meal with you. Alright, we'll be back when it's done.